All right, hello everyone. Thank you for being here for this session. We're going to hear from Nicolas and Ivana Giorgetti on surviving marriage using Wikidata. I'm sure an applicable topic for all. Um, I'd also just like to remind everyone before we start, I know we get excited, it's the end of the day, it's the end of the conference, please do not speak until a microphone comes to you if you have something to say. Um, it's just, it's not good for the live stream or anyone who has any hearing complications. So with that note, I will let you begin. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, well, uh, thank you for coming. Uh, we are Ivana and Nicolas, we are from Argentina. Um, so, well, the topic of this talk is kind of a funny way to say to survive marriage because, well, we are married. Um, I, we started our relationship almost in 2000, 2005. Uh, I started editing a, a joke encyclopedia called Encyclopedia way, way back. It's an encyclopedia full of memes right now. And she started doing a talk about how to, uh, about Wikipedia and in 2005. I went to that talk and, well, it started from there. Uh, after a few years, we, uh, with a couple of friends, we started Wikimedia Argentina, uh, the local chapter in, uh, in, the, in Lat one of the biggest chapters in Latin America right now. Uh, she's a founding member, I, I joined uh, a few days later. And then we married in 2014. Uh, very... <laughs> It's like a very nice relationship because uh, I think so. <laughs> I like to think so. Um, like, we are not only the only married couple in Wimedia Argentina. Like the, the, our current president, Ivana, uh, she's name is exactly like her, is also married to a Wikipedian. But we're the uh, oldest. But we are the oldest couple. <laughs> so, after a few years, we started uh, not only doing events about using Wikipedia and Wikimedia Commons on public institutions and, and schools, uh, like uh, one of the main objectives on our local chapter. And we started getting uh, this Wiki, Wikidata, or Wikidata, depending how you like to um, identify it. Uh, we started using it, and we fell, in, we fell in love with the project. Okay, so um, a little context since we come from Argentina, and um, it's a big place. I know that many of you are from Europe, so um, we decided to compare the size of Argentina into Europe. To give you an example, um, we're in Buenos Aires. So Point. It's <laughs> something like... Uh, yeah, like this. Like, yeah. And the second biggest city in Argentina is Córdoba, and it's 700 kilometers away. It would be like, um, from here, Amsterdam or Brussels. So it's a lot of territory. It's a very big country. Yeah, um, so mostly our big events happen in Buenos Aires, and we try to have some events in different provinces, but maybe they are not um, that big of an event. Also, um, open data is not very open, or very data-ish, uh, because many institutions don't have, uh, they don't use the database, databases, um, mostly paper lists, or they don't know how to do this. Um, um, sorry, uh, something I, I remember that in many institutions uh, do have databases, but they have multiple databases because one employee uh, got tired of using the same access database or the same Excel spreadsheet and they started their own, and they are duplicated. Uh, content. So many employees use one database, many other employees, or the official one is another onto completely. Okay. Um, also, Wikidata is not very known. Wikipedia is the biggest one, and it's not that very known. And also, it's a quite a lot of work to, oh, this comes from Wikipedia Argentina. No, we are not Wikipedia Argentina. So imagine <laughs> the difference between Wikimedia, Wikipedia, and now Wikidata. No way. And also, we are a developing country. Actually, actually, tomorrow is the presidential election. Uh, we thought this would be a fun thing <laughs> so to say, but like then <laughs> uh, things happen in Chile and... <laughs> see, as you can see, uh, the situation in Latin the America is, is very peaceful right now. Yeah. Um, so we are, the, all that context uh, came to... Uh, it's, it's a very interesting place to um, uh, try to understand how the Wikimedia movement 
improves and grows uh, very differently in the developing countries like uh, Argentina, Chile, uh, Uruguay, Brazil even, uh, or even in Africa, be compared with European countries, and, and especially in GLAM events or in GLAM um, open knowledge situations. Yes. For example, uh, if we're trying to make some uh, event or some um, agreement, uh, many of the institutions may say, you know what, the government is about to change, why don't we try after the elections have passed? Yeah, so, many, many, many things fall apart between elections because, okay, the government is about to change, so a lot of employees move away from their current jobs. Many institutions have become leaderless, so we have to wait a few years or months to reinstitutionalize and get all the, and start our negotiations again. Okay. It's very frustrating, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, how can we approach people about Wikidata, Ivana? Yeah. Well, um, it would be if we are talking about editors or people that are not editors yet. Because if people use Wikipedia, it's much easier. They already know how to work with it. But maybe they don't know about Wikidata yet. Uh, we started with this, like, what, two years ago? Yeah. We um, started with, okay, what is this? It's a database, uh, what, uh, Wikidata? and then we fell in love with it. So uh, we started with the editors, and we try to integrate with data in all the events we do. If we are going to do an editathon, try to have a track where we can edit with data about the topic. And if there's no formal event inside, uh, we try to start something, at least something small, just to introduce the topic of with data. Yeah, uh, thankfully, thanks to the um new integrations with, the, with data and commons like the, the PIC, uh, it will become very much easier to do job to do. Uh, because, okay, we have many events like, okay, editathons, like we sat with people and edit uh, ar Wikipedia articles, we take photos and upload them in commons, um, we try to integrate with data with that. Um, with non-users, so people that only read Wikidata or never knew Wikipedia or don't trust Wikipedia at all. Um, we try to do the, almost the same approach, but we try to approach people that already work with databases or we don't know in it yet maybe because like librarians or um, like librarians or people that work with maps, teachers, uh, students, um, we try to approach those people uh, on their own events, like OpenStreetMap groups uh, doing their events, or free software uh, events, like uh, in Latin America we have something like FreeSol, like it's events love you go with your computer and you get installed uh, free software in your computer. Uh, we have, you go do some presentations there and introduce them about Wikidata on other projects too. Okay, so we started by building um, the small community because we had some data to start, but someone had to start developing it, so that's where we came in. Um, we started making small meetings monthly, like uh, the people in Wikimedia France started on the atelier, um, something like that, but in a smaller scale. Uh, we try to be regular. Um, we sometimes get the same people new people, people don't return, it's a mixed batch of people. Um, many people didn't know about Toolforge and any of those tools, so we started uh, using Mix and Match, Open Refine. Um, especially, especially Open Refine. Yeah, and, we did one on the picks. And sometimes when we are many and we have many newcomers, we split in two. So one of us will go and do a small talk about, okay, this is Wikidata, this is the basics, and the other part will do something more advanced. Or, yeah, m m more advanced or more technical, because uh, one thing that personally I, I want to attract more technical people on Wikidata in on local community, the technical people like developers or people that know how to code, uh, it's very small, so I want to attract them and teach them like 
Okay, you know Python. I can teach you about how to use PBWikiBot, sorry. Um, how to use them to get to the APA, API for Wikidata and do some queries there so you can use it on your program. Or you want to do a Telegram bot or a WhatsApp bot, you can do that with the documentations you have. So we try to integrate that uh, in some events uh, too. Yeah. Um, well, well, sorry. How about institutions, glam and beyond? Yeah. So this is an, a very old show, I never get tired of it, but uh, especially in Latin America, glam is not so glam, maybe it's, it's dead metal too and other metal genres. Uh, I really like black metal. Uh, but not all, not, all, not, not all databases come from uh, galleries, libraries, uh, museums, and um, what is the A stand for? Museums. Archives, oh, okay. sorry. I just want to say that that was a terrible joke. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, the data comes in, in mysterious ways. So, we try to locate people that are not identified by GLAM standard, like uh, many NGOs or a small groups of people that have a common goal or a common hobby, like uh, in, in Latin America we have a, something like uh, Friends of the Trump, <laughs> like something like that. We, uh, we uh, archives, they have their own archive of uh, old books. Yeah, they, that needs context. We haven't had a trans system like for 50 years, so yeah. it's something historical. And there's a group of people who have a library about uh, the history of the tram in Buenos Aires. They even have an old tram that they restored. Well, once we did an analysis on there, and it was super useful. But there wasn't Wikidata back then, or we didn't know about Wikidata. Yeah, and we had maybe tried to go back to for them again, but many many institutions like um, right now in, in May, middle of the election, there are many NGOs that track uh, politician information in, or, in local government, nationally or in provinces. The open data is not very open. Um, so if you want to know when is the birth date of certain politician, the first source is Wikipedia, for example. So we try to get their own databases. So we try to talk to them about li uh, liberating that database in CC0, and we can the, upload them to Commons. Uh, Wikidata, sorry. Uh, I'm especially talk to communities about if we share some goal, similar goals like open knowledge, uh, free, free, open and free knowledge. Uh, the more ex uh, fastest example I can think of is the free software community, maybe, and OpenStreetMap groups, uh, uh, and other examples. Uh, so, we are hope what we are hoping to do next. We have many steps ahead. Uh, we are still a small community, but we have we want to make more technical events, uh, more events dedicated to how to use ToolForge. I. I already talked to many people in, in Argentina or in Chile that didn't know about the existence of many of the tools. Like, okay, I, I can upload a database using OpenRefine and maybe use Mix and Match to do some authority control. And it was Mix and what? Uh, so many, many tools, many, many, Many of the content of the technical documents of, about Wikidata and other projects are very hard to find in some respect to the less technical community, uh, especially in, uh, in countries with, uh, with English as a non-natural uh, language, like in Spanish, uh, with our country is mainly uses Spanish uh, or Portuguese, uh, it's very hard to find information in our language. Thankfully, the people in, in Brazil doing an excellent job with the Wikidata Labs. Uh, we try to, we are going to try to imitate that and doing it in, in, uh, in Spanish for the rest of Latin America. Um, doing something like a woman touch storm. Yeah, um, for those who don't know, in Netherlands they have resorted to some kind of smaller events called text storms um, for. 
just chance I happen to be in one, and I like the format, and I think it's something that we can replicate in a smaller scale, because it was an event of 30 or so people, we have the capacity to do that, and maybe we don't need a huge event, we just need one day or just a weekend, and I think that would be uh, an important contribution if we could just gather people, maybe have a speaker from Chile or Brazil, something more regional, uh, we think it's a good start. Yeah. Uh, so especially in countries like Argentina, where um, not many people know, not, don't understand English, especially, uh, because it's not an um, obligatory second language. Uh, so if you if you went to a school that doesn't have a se uh, second language, you are busted. But we try. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try. So how can I start, or more exactly, how can we start? So uh, the best thing we have is building a community, maybe building from scrap, maybe the community is already built. We have to detect that and formalize in a way about that. Uh, so about approaching people from other projects, again, free software or just like we have in 2007 started a community because uh, some a bunch of nerds like, a, like a to edit Wikipedia. So it would be funny to start a, a non-government organization to pr uh, propose the use of Wikipedia in schools, for and example. And now we have an office. And now we have an office. And, and staff. And people and, and staff. So it's very... It, it happens. I'm, a, I'm the treasurer there. I pay people's salaries. It's crazy. <laughs> Um, so then we go to many, all the events that we can, may, not Wikimedia related maybe, like uh, a bunch of uh, librarians get together to talk about uh, improvements. We go there and propose, okay, you can use Wikidata or we can use Wikipedia in your day-to-day -day life. We go to schools, we go to uh, public institutions, so the, all the glam of the public sector, like archives, libraries, our museums, CMS, libraries especially, we go there and say, uh, okay, Wikidata exists, it can improve your life, we can improve our content, we need to work together on all that. Uh, there are many uh, stones in Norway, especially with the government changes on all, all that chat. Uh, but it's like, maybe it's, it's like, it starts it's very small, like a, a bunch of, okay, five people have a common goal, like we like to take photos. Okay, in our, con in our, in our town, there are 10 statues. Go there, take photos. And that photos, you can upload them to Commons and you can do the pics about, about that. Well, not exactly, because another thing is we don't have freedom of panorama. That's another thing. Okay, <laughs> that is, okay. But you get the idea. <laughs> Uh, especially in Argentina, we did uh, a very huge event, like is uh, the sum of all small communities in Buenos Aires. There, there were many hundreds of uh, small cities or towns that did have their own article or their Wikidata element, uh, and no multimedia content at all. We got, we got there, we, got, we go there, we take pictures, we talk about people who live in that town, and uh, start making history in a way, uh, preserving all that that is, exists in our huge country. So, and other things that we learned that uh, we started, okay, we maybe start doing a, a Discord server or something like that, like a digital community, and it works and, until the point. Uh, it's very interesting to have a, a person face to face meeting maybe monthly or hope however you can to improve the relationships. I think uh, that was our first meetup. Yeah. We were a bunch of people. Yeah, we were a, we were a huge bunch. There are people from the government there too that works on the cartographical institution who works on all the maps in the country. And he, op he was in the, from the OpenStreetMap community and he fell in love with Wikidata, so that's a win. But in person, it's better than online in many ways. Uh, we try to uh, make, perfect. 
make some meta community a reality in person. Uh, it's a huge gap. It's a huge. Um, it's a huge challenge. Thank you. It's a huge challenge because it's a big country, but we are working on it. Uh, well, what about funding? Also, we are many institutions. Um, not many people know how to get funds. So, uh, okay, Wikimedia Foundation has your ways to make grants about events. Uh, if you have a working group, you can propose to get a small grant. Uh, to okay, we need to start an organization and we want to do that. We got to liberate the contents of this uh, library database. It's gonna work. I don't mean to de say that I need the Wikimedia Foundation to pay me a salary to do that. Not that's not the case. I'm I'm against that exactly. But it's like I need money to go to that town and take pictures. I need money to create a, a small event or rent a small space to get Wi-Fi and, okay, create an event to, to talk uh, to 50 people about how to use Wikipedia. Um, with food. With food. Food very is a special, important. very important event in all events. is the food <laughs> and drinks, uh, especially alcoholic drinks, but that, that comes after. Um, so... And a lot of people, especially in our countries, didn't know about, um, many people speak about Wikipedia and say Wikipedia Argentina or Wikipedia, Wikipedia Chile, for example, or Wikipedia Uruguay. About that P of, of that, just the, the, the encyclopedia and the Wikimedia Foundation does not exist. It's like a big mist that uh, shows the money of, after a few years. But, mm -hmm. And it, it's really, it's hard to find people to, to know about, uh, okay, Wikipedia is founded by the Wikimedia Foundation. There are several other insti local institutions like local chapters and user groups that promote the use. Um, we need to evangelize people about that. Um, but in, in, but it's the most important thing is, is like starting slow and steady, especially steady. Like monthly meetups, it goes a, goes a long way. Yeah. The perseverance is, is triumphant. So, well, well, when don't we start? So, so how to survive marriage? This is the, uh, the last part. But uh, once Shoni Cash said that the secret of uh, a perfect marriage and a long marriage is separate bathrooms. And, and he was right. And he was totally right. But maybe two is open data because... We are working um, under, uh, the, under the same goal, like promoting and using open knowledge, like um, Wikidata and other things. And I love her by, for it. Aww. So thank you for listening to us. <laughs> and forgive in advance my, uh, for my bad English, but. <laughs> so we, we got two minutes left. Uh, Probably a couple of que very small questions or just, just one. Ten questions. Ten, ten, ten questions. questions. Yeah. <coughs> just a moment. Oh, thank you a lot for your talk. Um, one thing I noticed is um, in the Netherlands, I started out with GLAM volunteer work as well 15, 15 years ago. I feel very old now. And one thing I really noticed is uh, to make sure that you get many GLAMs on board. It really helps if you get like one that's pretty big. Um, so I could maybe like give that as like a kind of suggestion that if you try to find like you know a very prestigious museum, I mean it's probably you know harder to do that. But if you get one museum with one person who is sympathetic to the cause, and you get them over, yeah. um, like we did one project in the Netherlands called Picky Lost Art. Um, that we started out with, I think, maybe two or three museums, and then suddenly the Van Gogh Museum um, participated, and then yeah. after that, we got like 30 calls from museums, like, I want to be part of this too. Yeah, the, the, the domino effect of... Uh, the domino effect, yeah. Yeah, it, we are starting to go into museums talking about, do you know about what the Met do with big data? Yeah. Here's a few links. Yeah. So after that, the people like, oh, we can start doing something similar and you can come here and teach me how to do it. It's like 
Yes, if you give me that data, that sweet, sweet data. But uh, it's a very interesting topic because not only in the GLAMS, in public institutions too, like uh, many public institutions have a dream about getting all the data in one place and in a structural way. Uh, it's a long project, but many people are starting to go, okay, doing, using Wikibase as a startup, we can, okay, local governments can talk with the nation about, okay, or catastro like uh, city information is in a database that is open to the public and to the government. Uh, we are starting to teach them about these tools too, but it, the domain effect is a very important part. Thank you. Yeah. No, I was just going to say that it's a good thing in your cases that the government did not think that this data will be sold and they give it to them because uh, in my case I think they will hold on uh, onto the data until they find some commercial way to get profit out of it. Hi, it's Mohammed Hijab from Palestine. Thank you for your session and your representation. The, the subject is cool. <laughs> Thank um, you. I just want to say that we are in, in the Levant area. As, we, as you know, the Levant area consists of four countries, Palestine, Jordan, Lebanon, and Syria. We have the same problems that we face, the same problems that you face. We are uh, far apart. Um, I know some users from, from more than five years, but I saw them one time. Uh, we also, a lot of Wikipedians in Palestine do not use Wikidata, and that's a problem. Uh, I just want to say the difference between Wikimedia and Wikipedia. When I traveled to this conference, uh, the police, uh, the Palestinian police stopped me, arrested me for 40 minutes. Uh, they asked me uh, where, I, where, I, where I'm going to travel and who gave me the scholarship. Uh, I answered all the, the, these questions in one minute and I spent the rest 39 minutes just explaining the difference between Wikimedia and Wikipedia. Yeah. They didn't understand. They just got bored and told me, just go. Yeah. And I, I face, I face these problems too. Um, thank you for your presentation and I wish you the best. Thank you. Uh, just a quick note on that. Uh, it happened to me kind of twice uh, at the U.S. Customs. So it's... Yeah. We, we, we got an attack in a way, the, the local chapter, oh. Uh, oh, yeah. about a few days ago by the media about uh, how Wikipedia Argentina is a political statement about the opposition, the current opposition. Like in a, the current relation is like the a current government and the opposition like the Kirchnerismo and Wikipedia is written with a K, so we are the opposition. And we got attacked by it and uh, in a, a 25 minute segment in prime time, talking about how our local chapter works to promote and defame uh, the current government in Argentina. So, and especially that Wikipedia with the P, Argentina, like. Uh, we she's, are not Wikipedia. I yeah, went to tattoo this, like. I need a t shirt with that. With that. Yes. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. <laughs> so we run into a... Yeah, I'll, I'll be quick. It's not really a question. It's just, uh, first of all, thank you so much. Um, you. I'm Han. I'm the conference grant program officer for the foundation. So I just wanted to use the platform, as you just mentioned, that we provide uh, grants, all kinds of grants. So I really encourage you uh, to submit proposal for small grants, rapid grants, project, but I specifically support conference grants, and I just wanted to say that we're very much looking to fund Wikidata conferences, especially in emerging community, but in, but in general. So I really encourage you and everyone here going back to their local communities. A conference doesn't have to be like this huge conference. A conference can be know. smaller with 20, 30, whatever participants, just as long as it has an impact. And I know that gathering on, around such an issue has a lot of impact. So I'm really encouraging you to submit yeah. and to talk to me if you have any questions. And not only, may I, may I add, not only the, the money is part of things, you go, the, the, the know-how of how to organize an event. Yeah. Like, uh, okay, 
we hope to rent a, a place, how to set up the audio, the video. Wi-Fi, uh, very wi important. Wi-Fi is very important. <laughs> uh, I think we should close. So thank you very much for attending. Thank and you. Thank you for presenting your, your speech. You did it well. And enjoy the break. Thank you. Aww.